no. Are we accepting defeat? Oh, um, that's pretty dangerous how you lose your vehicle. I'm Erin, and this is Danny, and the littlest member of our family, River. We are making our way around Australia with our home and tow. Subscribe to follow along and keep up to date with our adventures. Hey guys, so we just got to Broome this morning. So there's a thing in Broome called Stairway to the Moon, and it only happens a few times a year when there's a full moon, um, and it's on the beach. So we're gonna go check out that tonight. And I think they have markets there as well. We're very excited to be here. I feel like I've been waiting to come to Broome for such a long time. Everyone just loves it. So I'm so keen to really explore the whole area and see what we find. Yeah, it's good to get back to the coastline, back to where the beaches and stuff are, so it should be nice. Can yeah. you check out the beaches here, go for, for a lot of beach drives around here, it should be nice. Go for a fish, yeah. hopefully catch something. <laughs> Come down. Is it? Yeah. Shay's gonna come down. Oh. We found ourselves a nice little spot down here in um, Cable Beach this afternoon, watching the sun drop down. It's really easy to drive on this beach, you can just drive straight on and I reckon you get along here with just a two-wheel drive car pretty easily. It's mostly pretty firm, there's only like a little bit of soft sand right at the top. Um, there's so much space, like because it's tides are so big, it's like nine metre tide. So it's just like miles of beach to drive along. Um, yeah. You didn't need to cool. drop the tyres or anything? No, you don't need to worry about like, yeah. dropping tyre pressure or nothing, you can just go straight on. It's easy. Super easy beach to drive on. People always say the cliche, oh the beach is my happy place, but the beach truly is this kid's happy place. Man, how good are these WA sunsets? Can't beat them. Very good. Yeah, last night after we uh, went to Cable Beach, we um, went to look around and see what restaurants are available. Um, they're all pretty expensive around this area, but there is some um, few decent ones. Like we found this place called DMK The Kitchen. It's like Indonesian food, and it was um, really good value, eh? Like, it was, you get really good sized meals and good price, and it was really delicious. Kind of surprising, actually. Didn't expect it to be that good, but yeah, pretty happy with it. So, definitely come check out that place if you're looking for somewhere to eat in Broome. So, we've just jumped in the car this afternoon and come down to Red Beach down the road. It's like about 25 minutes down, like these dirt, sandy, sandy red dirt roads, get to this beach. So I've um, got like this really nice red sand and then you got the like the aqua, beautiful aqua colour of the ocean aside, it looks really cool. 
So we're just gonna come out and do a look down here, walk down the beach and river cabin play and stuff. So yeah, if you come down to Red Beach, try and come like when the tide's a bit higher. Um, Cause you know, as you get like nine meter tides here, so tide goes out miles. Like we're at probably a bit later, like the tide's a bit too far out for us to really see the water. Cause it's better when the water's up higher. It looks really cool, you know, the water beside the red um, sand and that. But yeah, it's still cool to come down here cause you can like just go exploring around. There's like lots of cool little rocks and shells. The river had like a bucket of shells he was collecting and yeah, still a nice spot. Come here. Just sugar. sugar. Everyone's got a cocktail. Nice view. Show me you jumping. Jump. Yeah, show me you jumping. Go. So we come down to a place called Coconut Wells this morning. So when the tide comes in, it like it has to be a nine meter plus tide, and it comes right up in here and it fills this whole area up, like a big, makes a big lagoon. And apparently, you can ride um, like floaty device, like on um, flotation devices on the way in when it's coming in. So the tide brings you in, you can just float the way in here into this big lagoon. And on the way out, when the tide goes away out, there's all these like limestone outcrops and like the, with all these little holes in them. So it becomes like these little wells. Um, so we're going to go see if we can find them because it's a low tide now. So apparently it's up, like you got to walk way up over this other side over here somewhere and you can find them over there. So we'll see how we go. We'll go for a walk over there and see if we can find them. Don't really know where we're going, do we, Aaron? Nope, no idea. Don't know where we're going, but um, I think it's over that way somewhere. <laughs> Not sure, but we're just going to walk around. I'm going to walk up on top of the sand hill up here, see if I can see where it is. Because we still can't really see where they are at the moment. Okay, so I had a look up on top of that hill there. I think we're supposed to drive down further. I think it's like a four drive track. It takes us down to the beach further down there. I think they were down there. I think we're in the wrong spot. So, um, yeah, go jump in, jump back in the car. I keep further, heading further down. Come on guys, let's jump back in the car. We're in the wrong spot. Come on. Yeah, it's cool because this all fills up with water from way up there so you can jump on your little floaties and you can float all the way down into here. This fills up with water so it turns into a big lagoon. Alright, so I think we're supposed to go down this four drive track here which goes down to the beach where the coconut wells are. So let's follow this down. I think we found the right spot now. This looks cool, doesn't it? It's these rock pools out here we're supposed to be going to. Let's see all those. Interesting coastline along here, like it's all these rocks that break away and they're kind of like soft. 
Gonna break them in half. Um, yeah, so you're not meant to drive your car close to the edge. River straight in. <laughs> straight in the right course. Pretty windy, eh? It's quite windy. How cool is this? Like, there's all these formations everywhere, and it's like all these little rock pools you can explore and have a swim in and stuff. You walk around trying to find a bigger one. this morning we come down to Guntiham Point so there's supposed to be some like dinosaur footprints and there's all these rock pools and you're right on the edge of the ocean here looks really awesome looks cool take a drone up so you can have a good view of what it looks like yeah sweet spot um I don't know where are the footprints oh I don't know yeah How cool is it? It's a nice view. Maybe we go for a walk along here because we can then we can come back and find a spot that we like. And we'll yeah. Go down to the beach here. All right, we'll do that. River, come over here. Come on. So we can find the footprints down here. Check this landscape out. How cool is it? That's yeah, cool, eh? Yeah. Nice little rock before you go for swimming. <laughs> Um, yeah, apparently someone was saying the tide's got to be below one meter to see the uh, footprint. So I don't think we'll see that today, but it's still a really cool spot to come and check out and like hang out. It's, it's really cool to explore. There's all these like really cool rock, rock formations and stuff. I reckon this rock pool is better than the dinosaur footprints would have been anyway. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, I reckon this, place, this, I reckon this spot's better than the um, coconut wells. Coconut wells, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah, Especially really good. this rock pool. It's an awesome spot. So yeah, like you can come down here with like, you know, cast off there, and apparently you can get queen fish and stuff like that. Um, I might come here another day and have a fish if I've got time, otherwise we'll go fishing in the next spot we go to.
just come down to the port here and even the beach beside the port is bloody nice so look at this out see a long pier coming out there we're just going to go for a fish walk out the side here and fish off it see if we can get anything a few little manta ray down here Oh, actually, they're probably, they're probably eagle rays, actually. I'm not sure if you can see them in the camera there. How's this spot here? Check this out, like a night of breath of wind. Beautiful spot. It's where you got like the nice red here, and with the rocks and the sand, and then the blue water and the green trees. It looks beautiful. So heading back down to Cable Beach again this afternoon for a bit of a drive down the beach, and just to hang out and watch the camels walk along the beach, stuff like that. So you, to get on the beach, you just go straight off the road, basically. As you can see, come down this little path, takes you straight onto the beach. And yeah, I reckon, I reckon you can get on here with like pretty much any car, really, even two-wheel drive cars. Because it's like, you go straight onto hard sand, there's no soft sand or nothing. So it's, um, Probably just need a little bit of clearance because otherwise you might like hit your bar or something on the way in here. But yeah, like as you can see, I just I'm going straight on the beach here. And all you have to do is just kind of navigate through a few rocks here when you first get on the beach. And, um, yeah, you're only allowed to drive I think it's 15 k's an hour on the beach, so you've got to go pretty slow. You can already see the camels over there in the distance. Yeah, you just got to navigate through these rocks here and you can go all the way up the beach. It's really nice, really nice beach to go for a drive on. So I'll go up here and hang out for the afternoon. Everyone's fighting over the chips. They're worried I'm going to eat them all before they get any. <laughs> it's usually what happens. The river ends up stockpiling a big pile in his lap yeah. so then because he knows daddy eats them all. <laughs> yeah, better get into them quick, mate. I'm going to polish them off before you get them. Hey. It's so nice being able to just come down here in Table Beach. The way it's so easy to access and it's right like close to town. So um, you basically just drive straight off from the beach and you come down here, hang out in the afternoon, put a little bit of feed up, just hang out. It's a beautiful spot. Watch the sunset go down. Sunsets are just magic here. James Price Point today. It's about 55 k's north of Broome. And it's pretty much like the first part of it is all just like red dirt roads. Um, so it's, you probably recommend to have like a high clearance vehicle at least. It does get a bit sandy at some point, so um, yeah, but it's meant to be a really nice spot out there. So we're really keen to check it out. Pull up real quick because there's this guy in the middle of the road. I want to run him over. The blue tongue lizard. Look at his, look at his tongue. That blue tongue coming out there. They're cool, are they? Like a little stubby little lizard with a blue tongue. Yeah, so we're just um, heading along and saw the sign to go to Kwan Dong. I think that's what it's called. So we thought we'd come down and check that out on the way. Bloody, really good spot down here. There's all these like free camps along the beach. Um, you obviously need a four drive to get in. This gets a bit boggy on the way in here, but yeah, like it, it's a beautiful spot, really. I'm keen to see what James Price Point looks like. If this is already this good, um, yeah, I'd love to camp here for a few nights. Check this out. Yeah, so you can see a few people camped up on the hill up there and over there. So yeah, you can just kind of pick your spot all the way along here. Some nice little rock pools for the kids to play around in and the big kids to play around in. They're actually a bit 
Yeah. Yeah, you can swim in them. Pretty epic spot. Check that out. Where do you reckon we need to go from here? I reckon we need to go down over there, where on top of those red cliffs. Yeah, way over there. I reckon that's where we should go. Way over there. I'm gonna go for a squiz down here. You can, you can access down the beach. Look at that, like just contrasting beautiful aqua blue water with the red sand. How good does it look? Looks epic. So we found ourselves a nice little spot here, put the kookaburra up. Gonna have a bit of a lunch. Got some um, chips and dip. Beautiful day for it, eh? So good. You haven't swim in the sand, mate. Made the mistake of um, stopping in the soft sand at the entrance as we we're getting up, and now we're stuck. Try to get out of here before this um, water comes up. The tides come up super quick here, and it's coming in. Have a look at the, uh... All right. Yeah, because there's a little bit of a bank just here. I stopped up the soft sand right before the bank. Silly spot to stop. So I'm just running up to the road, hoping to see a car drive past that we can ask to help come pull us out. But we are in the middle of nowhere, so um, let's hope we find someone. It's pretty far back to the campground. Okay, so I just sprinted for like five minutes, and there's no one. Oh yeah. That was a dicey one. The car was coming up pretty fast. Um, that's pretty dangerous how you lose your vehicle. But, um, yeah, I just stuck one of the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? Tracks? Yeah, I stuck one of the tracks under the front left wheel, put in low range, obviously, diff lock on. Um, and I just planted it, and kept it planted for like, it was red lighting for like a few minutes. Slowly got out and I was, I was free, so. Well, I just had my exercise for the day. I just flat out sprinted yeah. for like five minutes trying to find someone. Like, <laughs> oh crap, the, um, where everyone's camped up there is like, a it's like, 10 k's away. I was like, oh man. Put out though, we're all good. <laughs> so Danny's just run back down to the beach to get all the um, tracks and stuff off the sand. Oh, that was a close one. Um, he The whole time we were down parked at the beach, he was panicking because he was like, oh, the tide's coming in, we've got to go, we've got to go. And then when I was finally like, okay, let's go then. And then we get stuck only a couple of meters from the water as the tide's coming. Bit of a panic. <laughs> Oh, bloody hot now. So now we can't actually find the tracks. So, taking some shovels down and just gonna spend a while down here trying to find where they went. They gotta be here somewhere. Yes, Aaron found the first one straight away. <laughs> it was right under the sand, like, they get just, they just get pushed straight under when you go over it. Good job. Now I've got to find the second one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the second one. It's got to be in here somewhere. 
Are we accepting defeat? Yeah, we found one. The other one's just gone. Must have just been pushed right under the sand. We can't find it. So um, that's all right. It did its job. It got us out, which is the main thing. Because uh, it would have been very nice if that, that tide came all the way up. The old GOM lives to tell another day. <laughs> <laughs> just. Just. Yeah, so James Price Point. A oh, beautiful spot. Oh, how nice it is. Get these beautiful red dirt come to the white sand to the aqua blue ocean. Can't beat it, eh? One of the most beautiful spots around, I reckon. Yeah, so uh, what happened was I was coming along the beach and I wasn't sure, quite sure where the exit to the beach was. So I was like, there wasn't that many different tire trucks around, tracks around, and a few. I was like, I think it's up there. So I stopped. Where I stopped was kind of like a little bit of a like bank, so it went up a bit in a soft sand. So then when I went to go again, I was just, no, I wasn't going anywhere. So, um, yeah, a bit of a bummer that we lost one of the tracks, but main thing is we got the old GWM out. Because that tide was coming up, it was probably only about an hour or two, or probably an hour off high tide, so it would actually been up higher than we were, Bob. So, because these massive tides here, like nine metre tides. So, yeah, lucky we got it out, because that would have been very nasty otherwise. I was so stoked when I got out. So Aaron come sprinting off up the hill um, looking for someone else because I was like, oh crap, we're, you know, we're going to need some help here. So she ran off up the hill. I forgot to film it though because I was kind of in the moment. But um, I stuck one of the tracks under the front left tyre that I dug out. And I just turned to the left a bit cause towards down the beach. So I thought I'd give it a bit more of a chance. And I just put my foot flat. I was just sitting on red line. Um, just red line the whole time, just peeking. And then just slowly moving. And I got out and I was like, yes, yes, got out. So, yep, lesson learned do not stop in soft sand. It doesn't matter if you don't know where the exit is. This is our last day in Broome. So, we just spent the afternoon hanging down the beach, had a fish, hadn't had much luck catching a fish in Broome so far. But, um, yeah, beautiful spot. Definitely recommend coming and hanging out in Broome for like a week, a week or two. There's plenty of stuff to do. Next, we're heading down to 80 Mile Beach, Caravan Park down there. Hopefully we'll have a bit more luck catching some fish down there. It's supposed to be good fishing. So yeah, we'll see you next week guys. Thanks. See you next week.